In the previous topic, we talked about the model of selection criteria for selecting people for an international assignment. In this topic, we are going to talk about uh, the individual factors from uh, the selection criteria which are important for selecting a person for a uh, for for an international assignment. All right. So as you saw in the previous uh, topic that uh, uh, there are three uh, individual factors which are important for selecting a person for international assignment and those are technical abilities, uh, cross-cultural uh, suitability and family requirements. Uh, so coming back to the first uh, factor that is the technical ability it is important, this is the basis of all types of requirements, even if it is a domestic uh, appointment or a local or an international appointment. The technical ability of the person is the foremost important selection criteria that the person should be able to perform the job for which that person is being hired. So if he is a production manager, he should be able to manage production. If he is a marketing manager, he should know all the uh, important aspects of marketing. If he is a finance manager, he should have all the skills and training for managing the finances of an organization. So the technical ability, that is the foremost and basic criteria for hiring a person. Uh, but an international uh, expatriate is hired on many other important criteria which are important for selection. And the second one important factor out of that is cross-cultural suitability and cross-cultural suitability has a number of aspects involved in that that person needs to have a number of uh, uh, personality factors which can make that person cross-culturally suitable uh, so take, let's take a look at uh, the possible factors uh, number one is cultural empathy that person should be empathetic toward different cultural differences uh, that sh person should not be opinionated or should not be prejudiced for a particular culture. Then the person's adaptability, a person should have a personality which is flexible to adapt. Diplomacy, uh, that person should be able to manage things in a diplomatic way. Language ability is very important. Uh, positive attitude, that is one of probably the most important factors in adjusting to a new culture if you do not have a positive attitude towards life and towards the overall uh, adjustment to things in a particular scenario, you will not be able to adjust well to that. Emotional stability is also very much important because when change is taking place and you've got to adjust to a new environment, you must be emotionally stable. You should not be somebody who gets panicked or who, who, gets, uh, who gets angry or who gets really depressed because of small things. So emotional stability is important. And Maturity is also a very important aspect. So uh, you would remember when we looked at the profile of expatriate uh, people, uh, mostly 66% of persons, the expo expatriates, were between the age of um, uh, 30 to uh, 49. So, and, and, and that means that people of mature age, they are able to manage these assignments very well. And now the third factor is that of Family requirements. Family requirements carries a very important uh, aspect in selection criteria. Uh, and uh, it is uh, said in literature that although uh, the spouses and uh, family, they are not included in the part of selection process, like they are not included in the interview and they are not included in the selection process, uh, the family requirement is one of the four most important aspects in international expatriate manager. Why? Because the spouse carries a heavy burden of adjusting to the new location because it is the spouse who would be adjusting the house, who would be adjusting the family, who would be adjusting uh, the entire, uh, uh, you know, the, the house to the new location. And so uh, that person, he or she, wife or husband, would be carrying a lot of burden on them and their requirements are very much important. For example, if a person is, um, uh, if, if a spouse is disabled, that is uh, going to be a very big problem uh, for, for adjusting to a new culture. Or if the spouse is uh, 
uh, he has he or she has got family behind uh, dependent parents or other responsibilities uh, and uh, they are not able to move then it would be very difficult for the person to take up the international assignment it is very important to adjust the person uh, to the adjust the spouse because he or she may have left behind a career um, then another um, important aspect in adjustment to new places is the difference between availability of house servants in different countries in developing countries house servants are available and if a person from such country goes to a developed country their uh, house servants are not available for example in agar uh, pakistan se koi jo hai wo relocate ho ke kisi developed developed mulk mein jate hain uk mein jate hain america mein jate hain to agar wo apni spouse ko sath leke jate hain to aur apni wife ko apne wo sath leke jate hain तो यहाँ पे वाइफ जो है उनको हाउस सर्वेंट्स की और घर में मेड्स की और सब चीज़ों की आदत होती है और घर के काम सारे काम आप खुद नहीं करते लेकिन अगर आप बाहर जाते हैं बाहर डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज़ में जाते हैं तो वहाँ पे सारे काम खुद करने पड़ते हैं और जब वाइफ को ये सारे काम खुद करने पड़ते हैं तो बहुत सारी जो ख़वान हैं उनको ये बहुत मुश्किल लगता है क्योंकि ये एडजस्टमेंट करना उनके लिए बड़ा मुश्किल काम है इसी तरह से बाहर से अगर कोई पाकिस्तान में आएगा तो चूँकि पाकिस्तान में घर के काम करने का सिस्टम जो है वो बहुत डिफरेंट है और बड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है और उस तरह से आपको फैसिलिटीज़ भी अवेलेबल नहीं है एंड देर इज़ सो मैनी अदर अदर फैक्टर्स लाइक देर इज़ सो मच डस्ट एंड ऑल दैट कि बहुत सारे काम जो हैं वो आपको घर में लोगों से करवाने पड़ते हैं हाउस सर्वेंट्स से करवाने पड़ते हैं सो so उसके लिए फिर अगर कोई बाहर से आता है तो दे वे दे मे नॉट लाइक टू हायर हाउस सर्वेंट्स बिकॉज उनके लिए ये एक प्रेवेसी की ब्रीच होगी कि यू नो देर आर पीपल हु आर वर्किंग इन द हाउस एंड दे आर नॉट एबल टू फील सो फ्री एंड दे वुड फील दैट प्राइवेसी इज डिस्टर्ब सो दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट दिस डिफरेंस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन एडजस्टिंग द फैमिली टू अ न्यू लोकेशन एंड देन अनदर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट फॉर दिस इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ द स्पाउस टू वर्क इन द होस्ट कंट्री if the spouse is willing to work and is unable to work in the host country then the family would may not be able to adjust in that situation so these are the various individual factors which are important for selecting a person for an international assignment